Welcome to the Fire and Earth Podcast with your hosts, Jason Mefford and Kathy Gruber. Fire and Earth, giving you the keys to unlock your limitless potential. Welcome to another episode of the Fire and Earth Podcast. I'm your co-host, Jason Mefford. Are you sure? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I was wondering. <laughs> you just sort of went away there for a second. I'm Kathy Gruber, and we have a very important question. Very, probably the most important question you're going to ask yourself, well, this week, how many times did you swear today? I wasn't keeping track of it, but. (laughs) Well, if it's only been with me so far, it's been two for you. Oh, that's all? Yeah. Okay. I'm up to seven. I know. Well, I know because I know when we when we started because we usually kind of batch record episodes. Obviously, those of you that are watching us on video can tell because we're wearing the same clothes from week to week sometimes. But um, but yeah, because we had both first gotten up and neither one of us had actually said any 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 dirty words <laughs> until we start recording. Um, oh. Yeah, that was incorrect for me because <laughs> I was talking about a board meeting and I probably dropped a couple f bombs. So yeah, I'm up to maybe maybe a dozen. <laughs> Got a dozen. It's only eight thirty. Boy. Mm. Okay. But 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 it is it's a, it's an interesting question, right? Because I think I mean obviously people that have been listening to us they know that we use different language, right? And and I and you know there's a lot of times people have some very you know big views on that right like oh you can't be you can't you can't say certain words and still be professional at work or professional and whatever um and and it's interesting because the the older i've gotten and the the less i give a fuck what other people think um the more i'm just saying what actually comes to my mind right yeah um so it's it's interesting because yeah to dig into a little bit more what, what what what's your kind of take on it because i i wanted to kind of go back to another area too but i wanted to kind of get what you're you're thinking yeah too. you know i think the societal acceptance of swearing is different like it used to be if we were sitting in a restaurant and you heard someone swear it was like <gasps> especially fuck you know somebody drops a shit or a damn or you know but i mean now fuck is such vernacular Yep. everybody's saying it i'm hearing young kids saying it. i'm having adults saying it. I'm, you know it's like if there isn't that societal like oh my god you're, there's a kid two booths over why are you saying a bad word you know and at the trapeze rig i said something about i, I really fucked up that trick oh my god i'm so sorry because there was kids there and i do tr- I, I try not to swear around kids and the mom goes she's heard it she's heard it from me she's heard it from her dad she hears it on tv she's gonna hear it at school she hears it on the internet our the rule in our house is it's okay for you to hear it it is not okay for you to say it Mm. and i went okay um and chad daniels one of my favorite comedians his he was talking about swearing in his son he goes it's the first time he like heard his son swear he fell off his bike and his son went fuck and he goes i understand why you said that buddy it's okay that you said that but i need you to come up with three other ways to say what you just meant and the kid (laughs) said it hurt it sucked i want to break my bike and he went perfect. <laughs> you know, so it's like, I was expecting he was going to go. God damn it! Shit. <laughs> no, that it, is the it other hurt, words. It sucked. I want to break my bike. Which you know. And he went okay. Good job. You know. I think it's it's important to understand why we swear and to kind of think about are there other ways to say what we wanted to say because it used to be like if you said the word fuck you were uneducated and less than and you weren't intelligent you didn't seem professional. I'm in, I have a PhD. I'm in quite incredibly well read. I have a very high IQ. I still swear, you know. Um, and what was the study? They said that people who swear are, are uh, what was it? People who swear are more intelligent or something like that. I, I, I'm more not sure. Creative. But, I'll have to look but, that up. But I was kind of going to kind of go there where where you, where you were at because it, it used to be right that people would say, well, if you have to swear, then you just have a very low vocabulary and you have no other way to express yourself. Yeah. Right. And, and I don't agree with that. Right. Yeah. Because one of the, one of the things that one of the, um, I can't remember who it was, but one of, one of our fellow professional speakers, I remember him saying, you know, he's like, why would I exclude certain words from my vocabulary when I'm speaking that can have such a huge impact? Right. Right. I mean, a properly placed fuck or bullshit can have a huge huge emotional impact on what it is that you're saying now 
you know, like you said, I mean, up until, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, it wasn't as accepted, right? Uh -huh. Unless you were from New York, you know, <laughs> what the fuck you doing? Hey, welcome to fucking New York. You or know, Australia. Hey, hey, or, you <laughs> know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there were certain places where it was just more prevalent and it becomes a noun, a verb, an adjective and an adverb. Right. But, right. but, you know, in, in other places now, and now in mainstream, I mean, you, you see it, you hear it everywhere. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, if you look at the top TV shows, the top, you know, podcasts, yeah. songs, you book know, titles. Other, other, other stuff like that, book titles, everything. I mean, you see it, you know, pervaded everywhere. I mean, I, yeah. I remember, you know, it, it used to be on with music, you know, especially oh. it's like, you had to use words like rock and other stuff like that when you wanted to say fuck uh -huh. because you couldn't say that now it's like you, you can say whatever you want to yeah. in music as well and most radio stations will still have an adjusted version to that i remember the first time i heard because i do hip-hop mm -hmm. filled with swear words and i remember the first time i heard one of the songs like the actual lyrics i literally stopped dancing and went what i mean like because i'm used, i was used to hearing it on the radio where it either like the track to sort of put music over it or they just completely eliminated the word or they filled in the word with something else there was two versions to the song and there was times in dance class where i would stop and go oh my god like i, I didn't realize that was <laughs> drew me out of it so i just looked up real quick so it's uh 2020 discover magazine people who swear like a sailor are a more honest and intelligent studies show interesting and yeah, there was also that. Yeah, there was also a really great study that said swearing reduces pain. So they would do the mm -hmm. hand in ice water test and see how long you could hold it in and hold your hand in the ice water. And the people who swore throughout the experiment could keep their hand in the ice water and handle the pain so much longer. So this is why when we do stub our toe or hit our hand, it's like, or, you know, it's those, those kind of sounds that actually soothe us. But it's interesting. Bit. Yeah, because it, it allows us to, to uh, expel. Yep. Right. The emotion by actually using the word, yep. which is interesting. I mean, it makes it makes total sense versus, you know, you're you're holding it in, you're stuffing it down, you know, you're doing all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, it's interesting because, you know, like you, you bring up about the radio because, um, yeah, there's laws in the U.S. that the FCC has for, you know, public airways. Yep. But. I haven't listened to the regular radio in 15 years, right? Oh. I mean, I, I subscribe to Sirius. I mean, most, mm -hmm. it was the same thing on network TV. You can't say yeah. certain things on network TV. But how many of us have cable, right? And HBO and, and whatever else, <laughs> right? I mean, that's yeah. Netflix. I mean, these other things that are, oh, God. That are private services, right? Yeah. I mean, nudity and swearing and drug use and smoking. You know, I, I see that now as I one know, of the yeah. warnings. I'm like, people are smoking and you have to warn them about that now? yeah you know? nudity suicide smoking crass language yeah you know, all this yeah. things well and sometimes i'm still shocked i still i still have this sort of like 80s mentality so when i'm watching tv and somebody says dick or bitch i'm just like we're allowed to say that now because i go back to what was it george carlin's the seven words the you can't say words. on tv he got thrown and in jail for that too I know. Well, that's what they, they, would, they would pull you off the air and put you in jail if you said shit on TV. Yeah. God forbid you showed a tit. I mean, um, but what was, I used to love the show WKRP in Cincinnati. <laughs> Loved that show. Yeah. And there was the, oh God, Johnny. He was always high. Um, I can't remember who played him, but I love that character. I had a total crush on the, on the actor and the character. And he got fired from his previous radio station for crass language on the air. And he wouldn't tell anybody what he said. He was so embarrassed. He didn't want to get in trouble again. It was booger. <laughs> and when he started working for WKRP, it had come out that he said this word and everyone's like, what's the big deal? And it turned out he was in those, like, I can't remember the scenario. It was like back in the seventies, like this very either like Christian radio station or a very like conservative town. And they said, look, you get to say whatever you want, which of course wasn't true. Cause back then you certainly couldn't drop the seven words you can't say on TV. So the episode ended with him on the air and he puts his feet up on the desk and he puts his headset on and he goes, and ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave you with booger. <laughs> And that was like so shocking to <laughs> that time that he said booger on the air. I mean, it's just, I, for some reason, that episode stands out in my head as just being so ridiculous that we would be edited in that way. And you go to other countries, you know, when I went to speak in Australia, 
I try not to, there's two, I, there's two times I swear in my talks. Um, in my stress talk, I say bitch once and shit once. In my communication talk, I say asshole once. That's all I leave it to. And I get to Australia and it was early in my speaking career. And of course, Australia, the word cunt is just like, that's well, yeah. everybody Australia says. Australia and the UK, it's a big, it's just, It's just a yeah. very common word. Now in this country, that's still not an accepted one. But in those two countries, you know, when we had Carl Smith on, he even said cunt on the air. He was very happy he could say that with us. So I'm, you know, the last thing I did in Australia on my 11 day trip was my talk. I did all my sightseeing first. And I get to the thing, I'm talking to a bunch of psychologists. And I said, you know, I typically give the disclaimer during my talk that I swear. But since I heard a four-year-old say cunt yesterday, I guess I'm okay saying shit with you guys. And everybody started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> know your audience. You know, I mean, like also if you're a speaker, or if you're giving meetings, know your audience, you don't want to offend people, especially if it's just egregious for no good reason. The reason I say those three swear words is because they go with the story. If I don't say those words, it doesn't work. Um, but I try to be aware of my audience. You know, I'm not going to say that in front of a bunch of seventh graders. Yeah. Yeah. But I think, you know, like you said, for the most part, because we've, we, to, to, to me, a lot of it comes back to the kind of the censorship side of it, right? Yeah. And I hate censorship, um, you know, and I, I don't think anybody should be censored in anything that they say. Now, I can mm. understand in some of the public spaces, well, I mean, pe people are, I, I think, are free to say there's there's consequences for what they might say. <clears throat> I'm just but, thinking more about hateful language or violent inciting language. I mean, we're in the midst of the January 6 hearings right now. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. you know, maybe there's certain things we shouldn't say. <laughs> but I, I well, get what you're saying. I'm torn there's, on the... Yeah, there's certain things that we, sh that we shouldn't say. Yeah. But, but having the dialogue, having respectful dialogue... Yes. Right, is, is, is different in, in how it is. And, and so, you know, I actually see it as a good thing that we are more open about, I agree. you know, and, in, in, in saying a lot of the things like this, um, because it, it, it always, it always bothered me, like even with the books. Right. And I can understand because yeah. it's in a public space, you know, they got to put the, the little symbols and things like that in, in some of the stuff, but I've just never, it's like, you know, don't say, gosh, darn it. You know, it's like, if you want to say, God damn it, then say, God damn it. Don't say, gosh, darn it. You know, Someone it's said like, that to me the other day, gosh, darn it. There's some errors in my message. And I was like, that's adorable. <laughs> or they say, you know, frick or, right. you know, shucks, or, you know, it's like, we know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Just, just say the real word. If you want to say the real word, it's okay now. Right. Cause we know what you're saying. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a respect thing. And the, you know, I think still some of the older generation, like there's, there's guys that I'll be talking to at the castle or at the hypnotherapy conference. No, not there. Never mind. Um, so guys at the castle are out in public where, you know, you'll hear them swearing amongst themselves. But when I get into the circle of conversation, the language changes because they don't want to offend me as a woman, which I appreciate. And then once they recognize, you can pretty much say whatever you want in front of me. Or I've had clients go, oh, you know, that fucker. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm from Pittsburgh. You can say fucker. I mean, it's like, <clears throat> it's okay. My mom had a potty mouth. My dad, I very rarely, if ever heard him swore. Oh, really? I would have figured it would have been the other way around. My dad swore telling jokes, but other than that, he really didn't swear. My mother was, you know, she'd walk around the house. Oh, shit, shit, shit was her word. <laughs> Or damn it. Oh, damn it. You know, but it was like kind of like kind of cute when she swore. She never yeah. said fuck. I never heard her say fuck. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. My my dad later in life probably swore a little bit more as he got a little. But no, growing up, not my dad at all. Which hmm. is interesting. Hmm. Yeah. So anyway, so we should fuck off. Yep. Time to fuck out of here, you little cunt. <gasps> oh we can't say that we can't we're in america we can't say that no but it, it, it's always it always you know gets me whenever i watch like like english humor like ricky gervais yeah. or somebody oh god you yeah know, because again it, that's a word that we don't normally hear here yeah but over there it's like calling somebody a little bitch or you know something like that it, it's not nothing to the extent that people typically have here which which again i think is you know be aware of kind of where you're at yeah, you know, the, the people that are around you, but yeah. also, you know, just be yourself. Don't you don't have mm -hmm. to censor yourself necessarily like like we used to. And people are either going to like you or not like you. And right, you know, and, it's what it and is. Res 
it's about respecting other people too. I mean, I tend to say, oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus H. Christ. I tend to say that a lot, which drove my mother crazy because I was raised Catholic and that in my house was not okay. So I would get in trouble if I said that. And I was around, and I don't think about it now. To me, it's just another word. I'm not Christian. I respect that being, but I, I still say, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, and I said that around somebody and they said, you know what? I'm actually Christian and I would prefer if you didn't say that around me. And I went, oh my God, I'm so, oh my God. I'm so, <laughs> oh goodness, motherfucker. No, it's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll try to be aware of that. It just, it just kind of flies out of my mouth without knowing it. So it's like, if somebody makes a request of you that is, you know, to be respectful, then, then try to honor that request. You know, I don't want to offend anybody. Um, and I'm wondering how many emails we're going to get about this episode. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Disclaimer, we say bad words. All right. Yeah, we say bad words <laughs> and and everybody who's listening, you say bad words too. <laughs> probably if they if they got this far in the episode, they're probably right there with us. I don't know anybody who doesn't say some bad words. Yeah. I do. Do you? Yep. Yep, I have clients that a bad a swear word has never escaped their lips. Huh. I mean, I can't say never, but no, nope, they won't swear. Huh. It's a really, right, it's a well, religious maybe, thing. I get, maybe I guess there's a few of them that are still out there. There's 12 left. Yeah, I bet if they hit their <laughs> I bet if they hit their hand with a hammer. I don't know. I don't know. I anyway. Don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I'm Kathy Groover. I can be reached at kathygroover.com. And I'm Jason Mefford. I can be reached at jasonmefford.com. So have a great week, everybody. We'll catch you on the next episode of Fire Nerd Podcast. See ya. See ya.